Good morning. I'm Andy Myers at Weiss Research. I'm Jen Amos, and this is your morning market update for Wednesday, September 7th. We're seeing solid gains on Wall Street, following three straight losing sessions to start the month. Investor sentiment seems to be getting a boost from a Bloomberg News report previewing President Obama's speech to a joint session of Congress tomorrow night. He'll reportedly propose injecting more than $300 billion into the economy next year through a mix of tax cuts, infrastructure spending, and aid to state and local governments. The President may ask Congress to offset the cost of the short-term jobs measures to raising tax revenue in later years as part of a long-term deficit reduction package. The plan is aimed at reducing unemployment, which is stuck at 9.1 percent two years after the official end of the recession. Investors will get an additional look at the state of the economy this afternoon, when the Federal Reserve releases its Beige Book Survey of Regional Conditions. Before the shift in sentiment today, the global markets had been trending broadly lower over the past few days. And the main reason for those declines has been renewed concerns over the sovereign debt crisis in Europe. But a decision by a German court seems to be easing some of those fears today. It dismissed lawsuits seeking to block the country's participation in bailouts of other Eurozone countries. The ruling upholds Germany's role in Greece's rescue last year and the establishment of the Eurozone Rescue Fund put in place after the bailout. But the court also said that future bailouts will require the approval of the German parliament. The decision is boosting stocks across Europe as well as the region's shared currency. And as the dollar declines, oil prices are rising. Right now, crude is approaching $88 a barrel, but gold is moving in the opposite direction, dropping back around $1,820 an ounce. Meanwhile, investors are moving out of U.S. Treasuries, and the yield on the benchmark 10-year note is back above 2 percent, rebounding from a record low. On the corporate front, management shakeups may boost the share of two big-name companies. Yahoo is jumping 8 percent after its board of directors removed CEO Carol Bartz from her post. Bartz was hired two years ago to help turn around the internet giant after co-founder Jerry Yang mishandled merger talks with Microsoft. Bartz did make Yahoo more profitable, but she also clashed with the management of the company's Chinese partner, Alibaba. Chief Financial Officer Tim Morse has been named interim CEO while the board searches for a permanent replacement. And Yahoo will also form a new leadership council to conduct a strategic review of its operations. Meanwhile, Bank of America announced the departure of two top executives, including the president of its Global Wealth and Investment Management Unit, Sally Krawcheck. The company also named two co-chief operating officers as part of an effort to align its operating units to its three core customer groups, individuals, companies, and institutional investors. Bank of America is gaining more than 2 percent on the news. Keep an eye on shares of the big mortgage insurers today. They're posting big gains after MGIC Investment reported that the number of its delinquent loans fell last month, and it wrote $1.3 billion in new insurance. That news is pushing MGIC up 12 percent, while Radian Group surges 9 percent, and PMI Group is jumping more than 5 percent. Another big stock winner is NVIDIA, up 9 percent right now. After yesterday's closing bell, the chipmaker forecast sales for the next fiscal year that were above analyst expectations. But on the downside, we have Talbots. The retailer swung to a loss in its latest quarter due to increased markdowns on women's apparel. Shares of Talbots are falling nearly 6% on the news. That's the latest from Weiss Research. Have a great trading day.